Imagine throwing darts blindfolded. No matter how skilled you are, without seeing the target, your chances of hitting the bullseye are slim. The same applies to our journey to success. If you're striving for achievement without a clear definition of what that means to you, you're essentially navigating your life blindfolded. Today, in this episode of my 5 Minute Friday series, I'll be unveiling the transformative power of defining your success. It's not just about effort. It's about aligning that effort with a clear and precise target. By ignoring this crucial step, you risk wandering aimlessly, missing out on your true potential. Join me as we discover five ways to pinpoint, align, and achieve your personalized path to success. First thing about this, what's the one thing that if solved would change everything? The reason why a lot of people associate success with money is because for most people, they believe that money will solve their problems. On the other hand, people with money would most likely turn to things involved with personal connections as solutions. They would feel fulfilled if they do things like find a husband or a wife, give back to the community or form a business they're proud of. So for the first way to define your definition of success is to find the biggest problems in your life and figure out what it is that will solve them. If you point to money being the main solution to your problems, then think about how much. Having a goal that realistic or as a slightly aspirational goal is a healthy first step. Be specific. The theme of today's video is having a clear target so money itself should not be your goal. Retiring early should not be your definition of success. These are too broad and doesn't give you a bullseye to aim for. Instead, frame your mind around a definition of success that's more specific like having an investment account with over $5 million or finding a job that pays over six figures. Now let's pivot from analyzing your present situation and take a journey into your future. I want you to take a step back and objectively look at your life from a bird's eye view. If you were to continue on your current path right now, imagine where you might be in a year, five years, maybe even a decade. Is what you're imagining something you're okay with? Or do you hope to do something more with your life? Neither answer is inherently better than the other, but answering this question will give you not only a better viewpoint of your current situation, but also allow you to reanalyze goals to better align with where you wanna be. So my second way of finding your definition of success is to think about where you want to be in your life in the short term, medium term, and long term. But the key here is to actually come up with the successes you'd have to have in reverse order. If in the long term you want to become a professor, for example, you know that in the medium term you'll probably have to successfully conduct research in a PhD program. Another plus with thinking long term is that you'll give yourself grace during this process. Say in the long term you want to own and operate your own business, then you won't get down on yourself when in the short term you're not making any money, and instead you're acquiring the skills and experiences necessary to achieve your vision. The acquisition of skills in this case could be a short term success that you can build off of. What's driving you? What or who is the burning motivation that gets you up in the morning? Is it your family? Your spouse, your friends. Many parents work very hard to be able to support their kids through school while a spouse may take on an extra job as their other half studies in graduate school. No matter what or who it is that motivates you on a day to day, centering your goals around your why is a powerful way of defining your success. But again, you must be clear with your goals. Defining your success as making enough money for your daughter to live a fulfilling life is too broad and won't focus you on your effort. Instead, think about how you define a fulfilling life in this case. One example of a success criteria could be having enough money saved up for $200,000 dollar tuition, a $20,000 car, and $500 of extra cash every month for help as she studies in college. Pursuing larger amounts of money like this could seem daunting at first, but you'll start to realize that just by having a clear success criteria, you'll start shifting your day-to-day decisions to help you achieve those goals. You'll stop looking at your 9-to-5 as the only option, and maybe you start finding a side hustle or learning higher value skills. Then centering around your why gives you all the extra motivation you need to go achieve your clearly defined goals. Ever had a day that felt absolutely perfect? Nothing about how it would feel like if you could multiply those days? Could you start to refactor your life to have more days like that? What specifically would you have to do to unlock more opportunities to do what you love? This way of defining your success is all about positivity and maximizing your happiness. Many people want to retire early, but when they're actually able to retire, they're more unhappy than when they were working. This is because they no longer had a purpose or something that fulfilled them on a day-to-day basis. By framing your definition of success as being able to do what you love to do every day, you can be clearer with yourself as to what you want to accomplish in the meantime. Maybe you're a software engineer and love to code, but you don't like being stuck in the traditional nine to five. In this case, if you are able to cash out of your stock package and retire today, don't stop coding. You don't want to just sit and watch TV all day because you'll lose your sense of purpose. Instead, you should strive to have the financial freedom to volunteer, to teach coding to others, start creating your own app, or just have a portfolio of side projects to keep you busy. Success isn't sitting back and watching TV all day. It's being able to do whatever you love whenever you want to do it. Let's take a moment to delve deeper into your soul. What are those core values that anchor you? For me, they're believe in yourself, do what you love, radical empathy and spread positivity. When my social media channels do well, I feel successful because I'm able to live by my core values every day. Defining your definition of success around your core values will help
help you not only feel accomplished, but also fulfilled in the process. It'll help you feel more morally aligned with your endeavors and you won't have moments where you're unsure if you're doing the right thing. Remember, they're your core values, not what you think society's top core values are or your successful friend's core values. Defining your success through any of the ways I discussed in this video should help you discover a roadmap between where you are now and your future successes. And aligning those pursuits with your core values will in ensure that you're happy and fulfilled along the entire journey. Do you want to partner on this journey? My team and I at Aspire Mentors work with individuals to help find and pursue their passions, guiding their path to a more fulfilled and successful life. Through live lectures, weekly one-on-ones, interactive workshops, and year-long guidance, we personally work with you to put your lives on the path of success. Visit AspireMentors.tech to apply to be a part of our next cohort. Apply before the limited spots are filled. Also, make sure to check out my free weekly newsletter with a link in my bio. I'm over time now, but if you're curious about how I became a senior software engineer without a CS degree, that video is right here. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.